Nick, take that fucking camera. I'm going to throw it against the wall. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take them to empty the tea bag saucer. So I had a little experiment and I've been putting my own tea bags in the bin so I know it's not me contributing to the pile and I would see how long it would take for somebody to empty the saucer. As you can see, we're getting a tea bag pile of mega proportions. I think they're trying to set a world record, see how many tea bags you can get on here before you realise it needs to be put in the bloody bin. simple uh, fruit cooler. Use a smoothie of your choice. I'm using this one. Some crushed ice, a glass, and the rolling pin was to make the ice more crushed. <laughs> uh, then you pour into your glass approximately two-thirds of the way. I'm just using the last of the carton. I've got about, this is my third fruit cooler that I've made out of this. And then get your ice, fill it up, oh, get an ice all over the floor, never mind. Now, I haven't got a smoothie maker, but what I have got is um, one of these kind of, what I do is I fill up as much as I can, and then I'll just put a little handful in. I've got one of these little bullet things. Mine's a Hinari Genie. You can buy ones called Magic Bullets. Um, but this is basically exactly the same as that. So once you've got your ice and your smoothie in your glass, pour it in, like that, put your lid on. This is the um, juicer jug because it comes with a juicer as well. Um, but this one you can also use for making smoothies with. And then this is your goes in there and just helps you tap your ice down. Now this is where it's going to get quite noisy. Ready? Bit in there, look. and then nice. You need these jumbo straws, little straws are just not good enough. And that's it, that's your fruit cooler. You pay about three pounds ten, three pounds twenty for these in like Costa, and this cost me two pounds fifty. And then the big bag of ice, which is actually lasting me ages because I've done loads of ice but that was like 99p and I've done loads of frappes and frappuccinos 
I find with my freezer it makes it really solid so you have to like beat it with a rolling pin but there you go cheap fruit coolers and when this hot weather it's perfect oh. what do you think of your fruit cooler hunky delicioso I'm not naked for anything think so I've actually got a strappy top on so I'm not naked just so you know but before and all gone all grey gone so I don't really do anything to my hair really it's naturally curly so I put this argan oil in I put um, three drops of that in to my hair when it's damp and that just helps lock in the moisture because I use like an intense moisturizer when I wash it so I use that to like hold in the moisture um, but that's the only thing I really do um, I've been using this dye in like forever it's um, Clairol's nice and easy this one is the natural medium golden brown because although it looks really dark it's still quite damp but when it dries off a bit it could be more golden coloured I don't know if you can see in the light it goes like a real golden colour and my hair is really porous and I was finding that when I was using the darker brown which actually my hair is more of a darker brown it would look almost black uh, and because actually my hair is just really grey there is no natural going on at all I started doing it a natural medium golden brown and the other one I like is a they do do a chocolate one as well which is really nice got lovely tones in it um, so I use that and these cost me about five English pounds um, and probably don't um, do it as often as I should um, because my hair grows really fast um, in fact that's this this is really long for me I don't normally have it this long at the back at all I normally have this cut right in and I normally have it really really short um, I was due a haircut this month and uh, I spent the money on stuff at the allotment instead <laughs> um, priorities I'm not very good at prioritizing myself I'm really bad the only thing I really do um, regularly is my nails I have them done I've just had them done actually um, they're the only things that I really regularly do I'm not very high maintenance at all so uh, yeah <laughs> I'm a bit lazy when it comes to myself um, occasionally have my eyebrows waxed that's about exciting as I get and yes it is Marvel this is my bedroom and it is Marvel um, love my husband let's just say <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's my hair regime. It's not very exciting. Um, I don't do anything amazing to it. Um, I just let it dry naturally. I don't blow dry it or anything because my hair just gets so incredibly dry when you use a blow dryer. It just ends up like straw. It doesn't seem to matter what products I've used. I've used really expensive products to, and really cheap products and nothing makes any difference. Um, so actually... I don't waste my time messing about um, I used to when I was younger I used to straighten it sometimes but to be quite honest I quite like my curls I just scrunch it with my hands as it dries and it just goes into nice little I get little ringlety curls everywhere and um, because I've got natural curly hair so it just goes in little ringlets everywhere so yeah that's as exciting as it gets bye unbelievably excited about growing my own lettuce at the allotment and this is my first lot of lettuce yeah and I've got this lovely red one and then also got another couple of courgettes these were very yummy roasted last week with our roast dinner another couple came off today so yeah homegrown veggies really really simple recipe chicken thighs which I have dunked in natural fat free yogurt which will also have mild curry powder salt and pepper you can actually leave these marinating overnight if you want the chicken to be extra tasty but I forgot to do that so I am just going to cook them as is and they're still just as delicious the yogurt kind of caramelizes almost and then with all the flavours that are in the yoghurt um, it makes the chicken just taste amazing 
I usually buy boneless chicken thighs, but I couldn't get them, so I've had to buy them on the bone. And then I'm going to serve this with a fresh salad from the lettuce from my allotment. So this is dinner, how it turned out. So we've got an avocado simple salad, which I have drizzled olive oil on and very light Caesar dressing. And also our chicken. And then this amazing stuff, which my son calls salt crack. Hottest day of the year apparently. 34 degrees according to my car and we're all suffering a bit because the one thing that we get here a lot is high humidity and that's making things a bit sticky and a bit sweaty. Uh, I went and invested in a fan today. Um, I broke my last one unfortunately and I'm just lying around in my t-shirt and underwear because that's how I roll. As you can see Freya is really enjoying the fan. She's realised where the windiest bit is and that's where she's parked herself, right in front of it. <laughs> How cute. Hey, Freya. Not doing it on demand. You missed it. Good boy. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? too.